Hi, sweetheart. I'm here. I'm coming in. Oh, you locked the door? Hey, can you undo the lock, please? Oh, you don't know me? You, you don't remember me, love? It's me, you silly. I'm your boyfriend. Don't you remember? <laughs> Try to joke around, aren't you? I'm indeed your boyfriend. You do have a boyfriend, and that's me. And I'm now here, in front of your door. And I want to come in. So can you undo the lock, please? Hey, hey, are you really forget? You are my girlfriend, you know. We do date together. No, no, I'm not confusing you with other person. I know you and I know where should I go. I should go inside your house. No, no, I'm not drunk, I'm not crazy. Oh, here, here, look, look, look. Here, this is your number, right? Here, here, in my phone, see? Yeah, you are the one that gave me this contact number, since you're my girlfriend, remember? Ah, uh, you're still confused, huh? <laughs> Silly you. No, like I said, I know where I'm going and I know you too. I know this house. I know this room. I know where you sleep and what color is your bed. Since you know, we both have slept together in your bedroom a few times already. After all, you are the one asking me to come here. Don't you remember? Are you done? Hey, hey, it really hurts me, you know. I really love you, yet you don't remember your own boyfriend. And you even called me a creep just now. I'm not a creep. I'm really your boyfriend. Why cannot you remember me? Look, look, I even wear this ring because it's a proof that we are dating. Huh? Where is your ring? Wait, did you throw your ring? No, no, I, I did give you the ring too. Why cannot you remember? Hey, I'm not making up, you know. Why cannot you remember me? Just yesterday, you asked me to come here. And, well, not just yesterday, actually. Whenever you're down or when you need me, I always come here, you know. Yeah, I do come here a lot of times already. You are the one asking me to come, so I come as quick as I can. Like, today's the same. You said you need me, so I come here. Oh, you are okay right now. Well, I'm, well, I'm glad that you are okay right now, but can you please let me come in? I promise you, I will not hurt you or be mean to you. After all, you are my girlfriend, my sweetheart, and I really love you. You know, I just want to cuddle you. I just want to be with you. I just want to hug you. That's it. Huh? Why you change your mind? I mean, uh, why you will not undo the lock after you ask me to come here? N no, no, you do ask me to come here. Oh, here, here. Look, look. I have the proof. Um, let's see. Like I said before. This is your phone number, right? And look here, look at the time too. This is also how you usually use your words to message people, right? This is your chat, look at this message. Oh, and this one before too. 
And the one before too. You already messaged me few times already. So yeah, like I said, you have invited me couple of times already. Oh, uh, you don't remember sending this message? Uh, well, if that's the case, then why I can receive this message? Sweetheart, if you think I'm faking this, try to look at your phone. Yeah, go check it right now. Yeah, open your phone, open your phone. Just search the message that you will send to a contact name, my boyfriend, or something like that, if you don't believe me. Yeah, just check your phone quickly. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, it's okay. Take your time, take your time. You will find it eventually, right? Since you directly sent it from your phone to me. Ah, uh, see? It's there, right? Even you save my contact too and name it as your own boyfriend. So, that's the proof. I'm not going into a wrong house or a wrong person. Oh, no, no, you're, you're not crazy too. This is true. This is really happening. I know where my beloved sweetheart live because I love you. And I want to go inside your house. So can you please undo the lock, please? Oh, hey, don't need to be embarrassed. After all, I'm your boyfriend and you are my sweetheart. A mess here and there? Oh, it's not a problem for me. I can even help you clean up, you know? We have cooked some food together too in the past and I help you clean the dishes. Don't you remember? Well, if you let me in, I can help you remember all the things that we do together. I just want to cuddle with you because I miss you so much. I really miss you and I love you. So please, please, sweetheart, you can trust me. I will not do any harm to you. Why would I do it to my girlfriend? That will not make any sense at all. Oh, don't worry about your house, sweetheart. Even if it is a mess, together with you, <laughs> that's already enough for me. I mean, in the end, later on in the future, even if we get married, I will get used to this too, right? Since we live together. Even my house are messy. Please, can you undo the lock, sweetheart? Uh, thank you, my love. Thank you. Oh, I'm really glad that you really trust me. Oh, I really miss you so much. I want to hug you. I want to hug you so bad. Can I hug you, please? Oh, come here, sweetheart. Yeah, see? I just want to be with you. Oh, don't worry, sweetheart. It's normal that you cannot move right now. After all... I just inject you with a muscle relaxant. But your neck isn't hurt, right? Yeah, that's right. I just inject your neck with this thing. It's painless. Because I don't want to give you a scar, you know. You are already cute just the way you are. And you are already perfect. I don't want to ruin your body. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. When I said I don't want to hurt you, I really mean it. After all, I'm doing this so your body can be relaxed, sweetheart. Mm, hey, I really love you, you know. I really, really love you. I love you so much. I always think about you. And I always think about you. You, you alone, sweetheart. Only you have the place in my mind and in my heart. Because I love you. Oh, don't worry. You can have my word. I will not do harm to you. I mean, look at you now. I can read you onto this sofa. If 
I want to do harm things to you, even I have done it already. But I don't write because I don't want to hurt you or do anything bad to you. <laughs> I'm glad that this day has finally come. You know, I have been patiently waiting for a long time for this day to come. Oh, you know what? The hard part is to make a duplicate of your key to your bedroom. Since you know, I need to sneak in into your bedroom without you noticing it. And you always lock your bedroom at night. It's a one way in, one way out. You cannot even sneak in from the window because it has the iron bars there. Oh, but I'm glad that there is a time you forgot to lock your door. And I took the opportunity to duplicate the key that time. Well, there's also a lot of effort for me to fake those messages and contact without you noticing it. You know, the one in your phone. But knowing that you are a heavy sleeper, it made things easier for me. Oh, anyway, I'm not here to explain to you about how I can get access to your house. I mean... I want to be with you, and I'm finally here. Don't you know how happy I am to be able to be with you right now? Oh, um, by the way, don't worry about your keys. Why would I give it to anyone else? Besides, if you change your keys or move away, I would know immediately, you know? I put trackers all over you. I know what you're doing when you go outside. I know what you're doing when you're inside. When you're together. When you're alone. I can see everything that you do. Well, I do respect your privacy. So don't worry. I don't see everything, literally. I know what you do every time you wake up. I know how long you sleep, what your hobbies are, with whom you usually interact, what you do for daily activity, your job, your education. I know everything about you. You just bought the body lotion a few days ago, right? Ah uh, yeah, that one has a nice smell. I even know the amount of money you spent to buy that body lotion. I mean it. I know everything about you, and I do it because I care for you, sweetheart. I'm glad you pay attention to hygiene so well. Even your shower schedule, I know it. But there are two things that I'm worried about you, you know. Your sleep schedule. You always sleep so late. It's not healthy, you know. But I'm quite worried about your food intake too. Since you always eat those instant junk food. And those oily fried food. The cholesterol is not good for you, you know. Every day, you consume unhealthy food. And I just want you to be healthier and fit. A good girl like you deserves great nutrition, right? Oh, hey, sh 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 it's okay, it's okay. I do obsess with you. And I know all those kind of things of activities that you do. But everything is only personally for my own self, okay? I do it because I care about you and I want to pay attention to you. I just want to know if you're okay or not. Because I love you and I really want to be your boyfriend. So, will you give me a chance to love you and let me be yours? I only want to show my affection to you. All I ever wanted is just to cuddle you, make you smile, and make you happy. I know that you are single right now, and I can give you everything that you need. I will treat you like princess, and I will always show you my love every day, every single time, every morning, afternoon. Tonight, every day I will always shower you with my love. 
with my care. I don't need anything else. I will patiently wait until the moment I can see you face to face and I would do anything to be able to be with you because you are my precious one and only sweetheart. You are so kind. You are so cute. You are so loving and I want to love you more and more and more because I love you. I really love you, you know. I will not be tired to keep saying I love you because I mean it. I really love you. And I would do anything to be with you. I promise you. Even though you cannot move right now, I only do this so that you can understand my intention. So that you can understand my motive to be with you. And I don't want you to be panicked or scared of me because of what I have done by tracking you, by keep watching you, by sneaking into your house, by using your phone like that. But hey, I only do it because I love you, okay? I only do it because I want you to be with me. So, after knowing all of these things, After I explain to you my intention, will you give me a chance to take care of you? To make you smile and laugh? To love you? And to officially be the luckiest person as your boyfriend? Sweetheart, will you be mine? And prove, we can prove that fate is indeed real. And experience that sweet dream can become a reality too. Hi darling, I'm home. Did you miss me? I sure miss you. War was such a drag without you. I kept on staring at the app I have on my phone to track you, making sure you were still home. Every minute I would look back at it. It was like, 15 seconds of making sure you were still there, then 45 seconds of actual work, rinse and repeat. And the whole time I was just thinking, what if she found a way to cheat it or get a tracker out of something? What if she actually escaped? But I guess I'm just a little bit of worry word, that is all. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that you are such a good girl. You are still here. Obediently waiting for me by the door to come home. Well, kind of by the door. The chain I put around your ankle doesn't have the length to let you get too close to the door. I cannot have you escaping after all. Not to suggest you have been trying to escape. Because you have been such a good girl for me. And I completely recognize how much effort you have put into that. I know we have only been together a little while. It's been around a week since I... Well, I don't want to say kidnap you necessarily, but it's been about a week since I relocated you to your new home with me. And it it's definitely wasn't a kidnapping. Because even the authorities were all like, Well, if she is into it, It's not really a kidnapping, now is it? (laughs) I don't know if wiser words have ever been spoken. Oh, anyway, anyway, it's been about a week since you have eagerly joined me in our new home together. And it hasn't been too long since our wedding either. I'm so, 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 so happy we were able to get married. It's always been my dream to get married with you. To you. Anyway, without you, I would have just stayed single for the rest of my life. Because I cannot have anyone but you. But I'm so happy I was able to marry you. (sighs) I was so worried that no one would be willing to officiate our wedding. You know, because I'm a crazy stalker who devotes one-fourth of his time at work to make sure you are still chained up at home. (laughs) But it looks like we got lucky. Thankfully, I know someone who's willing to officiate our wedding. Uh, 
Anyway, I was sure I had a point in telling you all this. Oh, right. What I was getting at is that we haven't even been married that long, but you have still been such a good girl for me. You are acting with a level of trust so high. It's like we have been married for centuries. You haven't tried to escape even once. You don't pull at your chains. You don't try to squeeze between any of the bars I have on the window. You even listen to everything I say. You are just so perfect. Such a good girl you are. And so, I want you to know how grateful I am to you for that. I brought you a little something, actually. I stopped by the store on my way back from the work. It was such a pain to have stopped by the store and wait even longer to get home to you. But I did it for you because I wanted to get you something special as a token of my appreciation. So, check this out. I got you this cake. I made sure to get you the one in the shape of a heart because I love you. It also has a heart on it drawn with frosting as well, as well as the words I love you written on it. <sighs> Maybe I'm being a bit redundant at this point, but I cannot help it. I really just love you. Ah, uh, I can feed you if you like. I'm already spoiling you, so I might as well go the entire way. I don't like to do anything half-heartedly, especially when it comes to love. I mean, you already know that from first and experience. That's why you have got the chain. But I can understand if maybe you don't want to eat the cake right now. In case there is something else you want to do first. The cake's not the only thing on the menu if you get my drift. Hmm? It is a good cake though. Maybe you want to eat it first? Hmm? I mean... I would certainly want to eat it in your position. But that's mainly due to how romantic it is. Not necessarily because of how good the cake tastes. You do think it's romantic, don't you? Getting a cake with at least three layers of love in it from your caring spouse. Oh, that is pretty romantic in my opinion. Uh, I just wish I made it myself for you though, instead of buying it from a store. It would have been more touching and I could have put more of my love in it. <laughs> and love in this context means actual love. Not like my blood or love nectar or anything like that. But I have just been a bit busy with work recently. So I never really had the time to make it for you. Work's been so busy recently. I haven't had the time to do a lot of things actually. Like cooking cleaning, laundry, you name it, it will get better in about a month, but until then, I will be pretty busy. Oh, say, you have got lots of time, don't you? I mean, you just stay here all day since, well, I never let you go outside. Well, okay, that's not exactly true since you stay here willingly, but you get the idea, you stay here all day. You have got lots of free time. How would you like to be a bit more mm, domestic for me? You are already my wife, but now you could be my housewife. There are a lot of things that need to be get done. And you would really be such a sweetheart by helping me out. Do you think you could be a good girl and do them for me? Now, obviously you are already my good girl, but... You would be even more of a good girl if you would do them for me. <laughs> I could teach you everything you need to know. How to cook, how to clean, even how to greet me when I come home. For instance, the classic, would you like a dinner, a bath, or me? <laughs> that is always a solid choice. You should be warned though, I'm always going to choose you. It's not even a contest. I could have been on a hunger strike for a month and I would still choose you when I get home. 
Still, I always appreciate the offer of various choices. Oh, and don't forget to give me a lot of kisses when I get home. Just absolutely destroy my face with a billion kisses at terminal velocity. Don't worry, I can take it. It would be good if you could greet me in an apron too. Even if you weren't actually cooking anything, just before I got home, it's just that nothing says housewife quite like an apron. <sighs> Now, I really want to see you in an apron. And take pictures, of course. I want to take lots and lots of pictures of you in an apron. I just know you would look great in it, which means it is a good time to give you an excuse to wear an apron. Come, come, come with me to the kitchen. I will teach you how a good housewife like you should cook for her doting husband. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I have got everything laid out for you. All the necessary ingredients and everything else we need. We will be using some salt and pepper, some olive oil, some garlic, some butter, some parsley, and of course, we cannot forget the chicken thighs. We will be making my garlic butter chicken thigh that you always wolf down. They are delicious, so I cannot blame you for being obsessed with my thighs. Well, first thing first, you see these thighs? I have them cleaned up, but right now they are too wet. We need to pat them down with paper towels to get them all dry. Yeah, because we need to get the ties nice and sticky so that the seasoning will stick to them. Which will only happen when they dry. Now, would you like to do the honors and pat down these ties? <laughs> Good girl. I knew you would be up to it. Go ahead, go ahead. I will just watch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're doing great, darling. You seem really into it for some reason, though. <laughs> I had no idea you would be into cooking this much. Maybe we should do this more often. <sighs> okay. Okay, I think that's enough. Honey, I said that's enough. The tie has been sufficiently pat down. Honey, okay, okay, okay. Now, for the next part. This is super simple. We just season both sides with the salt and pepper. I will do this too, like so, so just watch me. See, wasn't that easy? Now why don't you try it with the other ties? Try not to use too much salt though. If you use the little, it's fine. The ties will just taste plain, which is kinda sucks, but it's not the end of the world because we can add more. But if you use too much, it will ruin them. Oh, no pressure though. This is all just a learning experience. Making mistakes is also a part of the experience, so no worries, sweetie. You can make mistakes with me. Also, even if you mess up yours, we can just have my ties for dinner. Oh, you did great, sweetheart. You seasoned them just like I did. It's like you seasoned them to the exact same percentage that I did. To the fifth decimal place and everything. <laughs> I think you have got a bit of a knack for this. I'm so happy. You... Really are turning out to be such a good housewife for me. Oh, thank you. Ah, ah, but if I just let myself fawn over you nonstop, we will be all here all day. And the ties will never get done. Okay, on to the next part. We need to mince the garlic. This is a lot more challenging than just patting down some ties or seasoning them. So please pay attention for me, okay, sweetie? So first of all, We need a large chef's knife. Thankfully, I always keep one on hand. Come on, don't give me that look. But now, taking the chef's knife, we cut off the root end of the glove or garlic, just like this. And we have to do it on the cutting board, obviously, because the counter is dirty, oh, just like all the other people in the world except for me. Are you still with me? Still following along? Okay, good, sweetie. Now we have to peel the garlic. 
to do this, we have to gently tap the garlic glove with something like a glass or jar. Fortunately, we have a jar right here on the counter. <laughs> the one I used to keep strands of your hair. So now using that, just watch me tap it with the bottom of the jar, just like this. Wait. And ta-da! Look how easy it is to peel the skin off now. See? It just comes right off. Just like the heads of every boy who... Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Forget what I was saying. Back to the garlic. Now, we use the very tip of the knife to cut thin vertically slices into the garlic glove. The number one thing to remember is to make sure you are very firmly holding the knife. It can be easy to cut yourself at this part. And I don't want anything to happen to those precious fingers of yours, sweetie. So the most important thing to remember here is safety. Just watch like this. <laughs> and now we also make a cut horizontally like this. <laughs> okay, lastly, we make thin slices crosswise to mince the garlic into tiny little pieces. Just like this. Okay, did you get all that? Do you think you can be a good girl and try mincing the garlic for me now? Just like I showed you? I will just watch. Okay, I cannot wait to see you in action. And don't forget, safety first. Oh, wow, you're really good at this. You are so good. I knew I made the right choice by picking you. Well, there really weren't any other choices though. You are my perfect housewife after all. It is so much easier to deal with war when I know that when I get home, I will be immediately distressed by the sight of you. Well, preferably in an apron. <laughs> Maybe with some icing or something on your face that I can get for you. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You did a great job. <sighs> Sorry, I was daydreaming a bit, so I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, yeah, but yeah, this is some minced garlic if I ever seen it. I couldn't have done it better myself. Ah, thank you so much for being such an excellent and attentive learner. You are such a good girl. But now, now that we have got the garlic all mints, we just need to chop up the parsley. It's not that difficult, it's really simple. Just chop it like you would chop any herb, really. Just like this. Chop, 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 chop. I like to imagine it's the finger of love rifles when I do it. Uh, but that's not really necessary for chopping up the parsley. It is nice to do though. But okay, now that we have the fingers, oh, I mean, uh, the parsley all chopped up, we need to brown the chicken. I have already got the skillet over the stove already. So all we need to do now is just add in the olive oil. See, this is important, okay? See how I'm making sure that there aren't any spots without olive oil. Okay, remember that, okay? Because this is very important. Then, we just put the heat on medium and add the thighs. We don't need to move the thighs around in the skillet. We just leave them as is. And then, once they no longer stick to the skillet, that means they are ready to be flipped over. And while they are getting cooked, that gives us a good opportunity to melt the butter. So we just put in the little square of butter right in the side of the pan right over here. Oh, oh uh, and the butter should be unsalted. I forgot to mention that. But now, put the butter in the side right over here. And... Uh, mm, mm, mm. Doesn't that just sound wonderful, sweetheart? Just listen to them scream. Oh, um, sorry. I was imagining love rifles again. But never mind that. Now that the butter is getting all melted in the pan, we add the garlic we minced earlier. So here we go. Mm -hmm -hmm. Next, we should stir it to combine the garlic and butter. Like this. Mm-hmm. We will have to let it cook a little bit longer. In the meantime, we have some time to talk. Maybe 
I can fit in another housewife lesson for you here? I mean, you are such a good girl and such a good housewife for me already. But there is always something I can teach you. Like when making my bed. After you done, try to roll around in it a bit if you can. You know, when you get new seats that are all clean, they have that clean sand, which is certainly nice. But I much prefer your sand. So if you would roll around in my bed after you are done making it to get your sand all over it, that would be great. I mean, it might get the seats all wrinkly, but honestly, that is the price I am more than willing to pay. Because there really isn't anything in my nose love more than your scent. You would also be a real sweetheart if you could send me texts while I'm at work. <laughs> Nothing gives me more motivation than getting attention from you. Especially when you say you love me or you miss me or you hope that I'm having a good day. Uh, they're really just the best pick me up I could ever ask for. It doesn't just have to be sweet things like that though. I like getting any text from you. It could be just any generic text about your day. Something like, mm, let's see. Oh, something like this. Wow, the chain around my ankle feels so comfortable today. I barely notice it. Or maybe I clean your knife collection. Look how spotless they are. Or maybe the bars on the windows make me feel so safe. No one is breaking in to take me from you. You know, generate normal things like that. <laughs> oh, uh, but I think it's done cooking now. Let me just turn off the heat. Oh, but we are not done yet though. We still have to bake it in the oven. So we will just transfer everything into a sheet pan like this. And then put it all in the oven like this. <laughs> I already have the oven heated from before, so we will not have to wait for it to be ready. Now, as long as for how long we put them in, really, I just like to check periodically to see when they look done. Yeah, it's not the most proper thing, but everyone does it. As a guideline though, putting it for 30 minutes at 3500 degree is a solid choice. You could also put it in for 25 minutes at 400 degrees if you want them to either. Just make sure to not make it bazillion degree for 2 hours. You don't want to burn the ties, right? Anyway, once it is done, all we have to do is slather the garlic and butter all over the chicken to coat it. Then we garnish it with the parsley and we are done. It will be a while. Before the chicken is done cooking though, <laughs> hopefully the wait is worth it. I think it will turn out great though, since you have been doing everything so perfectly. You really are such a perfect housewife and a very, very good girl. You pick up everything I teach you so quickly. <laughs> it just makes my mind go wild. What should I teach you next? How to cuddle me? How to give me back rubs? Or maybe something more intimate? <laughs> well, I suppose there is no reason to stress over it. I will have the time to teach you everything eventually, since we will be together forever.